Ted Danson reprises his role as himself in Curb Your Enthusiasm Season 12, Episode 6, The Gettysburg Address, which reverses a fictional role he was given on the show back in Season 10. By returning for the hit comedy show's final hurrah, Curb Your Enthusiasm Season 12 beat Ted Danson's Cheers record of being his show with the most seasons, as the 1980s sitcom ended after 11 outings. Danson has now appeared in two episodes of Curb Your Enthusiasm Season 12, with his new storyline sharing a hilarious connection to a joke from Season 10. Especially since Curb Your Enthusiasm chose to have the fictionalized versions of Ted Danson and Mary Steenburgen as well as Larry and Cheryl get divorced, Ted and Larry's rivalry has continued to grow over the past few seasons. Though Ted and Larry's relationship is closest to being classified as frenemies, the two have continued to, intentionally or not, sabotage events and situations for one another since Ted and Cheryl began dating in Season 9. With their rivalry inspiring some of Curb's greatest jokes over the last few years, Season 12 features a perfect callback to a Season 10 storyline between the duo. Ted Danson plays Abraham Lincoln after being cast as General Lee in Curb Your Enthusiasm Season 10. Curb Your Enthusiasm Season 12, Episode 6 sees Ted Danson star as President Abraham Lincoln in the play A House Divided, with Curb guest star Lori Laughlin playing Mary Todd Lincoln. The play serves as the underlying connection for a few of the episode subplots, as Larry's Pavlovian need to urinate when hearing the Gettysburg Address leads to him falling and ruining Ted and Lori's play. Curiously, Curb Your Enthusiasm Season 12 isn't the first time that the fictionalized version of Ted Danson has been cast to portray a famous leader in the Civil War. Before Season 12's highly satirical outing, Curb Your Enthusiasm Season 10, Episode 3, Artificial Fruit, saw Ted Danson play General Robert E. Lee. In the 2020 episode, Larry, who is already angry with Ted for dating Cheryl, becomes infuriated when seeing a poster promoting Ted's new movie Lee. To make it worse, the episode ends after Larry sees a new trailer for the movie, exacerbating his annoyance with Ted. However, while little was done with that gag in season 10, it seems the fake movie about the Confederacy's General Lee may not have been that successful if he ended up playing the Union's President Lincoln only four years later. Ted Danson's fake Curb Your Enthusiasm acting roles reveal a surprising truth about his career. Shelley Long as Diane and Ted Danson as Sam in Cheers. While the fictionalized Ted Danson has now portrayed two famous figures from U.S. history in Curb Your Enthusiasm, the real Ted Danson has yet to be cast as a real-life person with a similarly notable legacy. Of course, while Ted Danson plays a famous real-life person, aka himself, in Curb Your Enthusiasm's cast, he has yet to tackle a major figure from history in real movie and TV roles. Rather, Danson more often originates characters, such as Cheers Sam Malone and Becker's Dr. John Becker, or portrays characters adapted from novels or existing media. Surprisingly, Ted Danson only has one upcoming project confirmed after Curb Your Enthusiasm Season 12's ending, so it's difficult to assess whether this absence from his resume will be rectified anytime soon. After Curb Your Enthusiasm Season 12, Danson is set to star in Mike Schur's upcoming Netflix comedy series A Classic Spy, based on the 2020 documentary The Mole Agent. While the show is inspired by a real story, this still doesn't see Danson playing anyone as famous as the roles the fictionalized version of himself has received in Curb Your Enthusiasm. Curb Your Enthusiasm Season 12 confirms Ted Danson needs to break a 26-year movie genre streak. Ted Danson in Saving Private Ryan with Ted Danson now having portrayed two Civil War figures in Curb Your Enthusiasm seasons 10 and 12, it's the perfect time for the actor to translate this genre focus to the real world. Danson has shockingly only starred in one war movie throughout his 45-year film career, which happened to be Steven Spielberg's 1998 World War II drama Saving Private Ryan. Ted Danson briefly appeared in Saving Private Ryan as Captain Fred Hamill, but hasn't been cast in a war movie since. That same year, Danson starred as Jim Tewitt in Showtime's Gulf War miniseries Thanks of a Grateful Nation, his last war genre project. After 26 years, it seems Danson is primed for a war genre role in real life, especially one about the Civil War based on Curb's affinity for including this historical event. Considering he primarily works on television and has already appeared in a war project from Steven Spielberg, Danson would be perfect for a role in Spielberg and Tom Hanks' next World War II show after Masters of the Air, as the duo previously produced two other shows about this war, Band of Brothers and the Pacific. Perhaps as a general or another historical figure, Danson can finally pay off his fictional Curb Your Enthusiasm roles in real life.